Hey guys, welcome back once again to another episode of the Alabunaga Show. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I'm super, super excited because I have two personalities, very handsome and very beautiful. You know, I think I picked one of the most handsome guy and one of the most beautiful girl in Nagaland. Uh, I'm talking about KL for my teen sensation. Girls go crazy over this guy, you know, singer songwriter from Nagaland, very amazing singer. And also our reigning Miss Sumi and Miss Nagaland, Hikali Achumi. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, I present KL for my and Hikali Achumi. Hi guys. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. Welcome, welcome. So thank you so much, first of all, for taking our time and you coming all the way from Kohima, taking the bypass road, you know. <laughs> yes, and you came all the way from? Dimapur. Dimapur. <laughs> Where's your colony, by the way? It's just there, Dominala. Dominala. Yeah. Na? Achha, now let's go straight. Uh, I want you to introduce yourself in your own style, you know. You can talk about yourself, your background, your college, your, anything you're doing. Maybe we'll start with the lady here. Yeah. So, hello everyone. My name is Hikali Achumi. I was born and brought up from a very humble family in Kohima. And I did my schooling from Chiang Mai High Secondary School, Kohima. Right after my matriculation, I completed my diploma in civil engineering from Government Polytechnic Kohima. Then I finished my BTEC civil engineering at Kaziranga University. I have a siblings of four and I'm the second one among the four siblings. Yeah, that's it for now. Mm -hmm. Hello everyone, I'm KL Pamai. My full name is Kubanglung Pamai. I am a singer-songwriter, uh, recording music producer from Dimapur Nagaland. I'm a full-time musician. I have two younger sisters. I'm the eldest in the family and um, <coughs> I love mangoes. Okay, let me also add something there. This girl uh, uh, received an award, you know, uh, as a topper of civil engineering 2019 under the State Council for Technical Education from All Nagaland Students Union. And then uh, recently also she won gold medal, right? Uh, at uh, the University of Kaziranga, right? Civil engineering. Wow, beauty with brain, right? And also, let's not forget, KL Pamai was one of the 24 artists who got handpicked by A.R. Rehman for the Nexa Music Top 24 Season 2 from 2,554 entries from across India and abroad. You know, later to be mentored by A.R. Rehman and a host of eminent music personality from the music industry. Woo! Man, that's like 2,554 or 25 manu, 24 manu, that is I sound so a lot of man. I love you a lot of naga. Okay, guys, let's move ahead. And uh, now, you've been a reigning Miss Sumi, Miss Nagaland. Can you share some of the experience, you know? And also, yeah, who pushed you into this pageant? Because you are that like book, book girl, like the engineering girl. And then suddenly into this Miss, uh, the pageant world, yeah. Um, well, right after I was crowned, um, I was crowned, the journey has been quite adventurous. Mm -hmm. I have been, you know, gaining a lot of experiences and learning so many th new things. Mm -hmm. Um, every step I take out of my home or mm -hmm. even at home, I'm learning a lot. So, uh, my journey, who pushed me? Nobody pushed me actually. Uh -huh. It was me who decided to participate in it. Okay. And especially, um, I decided to participate in Miss Sumi because um, this Miss Sumi was uh, one of the, one of its kind celebrating 25th Silver yes. Jubilee. Yeah, so um, some of us already know how, um, you know, worth it is Jubilee's blessing. Yes. So yes. that inspired me to join wow. the pageant. Okay, okay. So the Jubilee blessing. Huh? Really? Okay, and then you won it. Yeah. <laughs> Kale, uh, now you said you are a full time musician. So when did you start singing and how did it all start, you know? So uh, professionally, I started six to seven years back, if I'm wow. not mistaken. Okay, okay. So it's been some few years now. As to when I started singing, um, I started singing very early. Mm -hmm. I was highly influenced by my grandfather, who was mm. also a singer-songwriter as well. Wow. I mean, he's still right to this point. And, um, Ooh, she would like to mention his name? Also, <laughs> I don't think people will recognize him, but yeah, he, his name is uh, M. Rong Mai. Oh, wow. I think he's <coughs> around 80 plus now, but he wow. still writes songs. Okay. Where, where is he? So, so sorry. Uh, he's here. He's here with me. Really? Yeah. Wow, so we'd we love to together. meet him. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. So yeah, spending time with him, learning folk songs, and so he, you know, influenced me a lot. Okay. And also, my uncle and aunties who mm -hmm. were you know, really into music back those days. Mm -hmm. So spending time with them, somehow you know, escalated this 
passion okay. for okay. passion for music okay. that I had. Yeah, I remember you coming to Mountain Music. Mm-hmm. You know. Right, I right. was there those days, you know. Yeah. I used to see this boy, you know, coming for music classes, and you know. all. Yeah, I remember those days. So we see a lot of your updates from your social media about your works, and all. Would you like to mention some of the works you've done after, I mean, winning, I mean, winning the crown? Yeah. Well, sure. Um, right after I was crowned as Misumi, mm-hmm. I was so fortunate uh, that my sesh partners, uh, mm-hmm. that is Lino V and Nilali of Misumi, okay. we three had the same ideas. Um, f- that is towards the sustainability. Mm-hmm environmental side. So um, ever since then, we have been planning and working on um, Mm. this environmental. Mm -hmm. So we launched our project, our first ever project on 29 September Mm -hmm. 2022. And after that, we have been holding some few competitions, long-term competitions. And recently, we just had our Green Carnival. Mm. So where we hand out some cash prizes Mm -hmm. and yeah, it was uh, one of the work that we had done. And after winning Miss Naglen, we Sachu, that gotcha. is our former yes, Miss Naglen, Naglen yeah, yeah. The, fa- also the founder of the Miraculum Society of Naglen. Mm-hmm. She took us to Naglag. Wow. Yeah, so um, I was so fortunate to be to having that opportunity to launch my first ever project of Miss Naglen mm-hmm. under the theme Period Positive. Okay. And okay. yeah, I have been uh, working for that. Uh, it's still on the process, but been working on that and. My search partners of Miss Naglen, that is Kenny and Gentren, we three mm-hmm. are also thinking about to come up with some plan to okay, do. Okay. Yeah, so I can surely anticipate for Wow, it. wow. Well, we wish you all the best and kudos to all the work you guys are doing. Yeah. Now, let's talk about your work also. Uh, but before I talk about the work that you're doing right now, how would you describe your genre of music? You know. So I... I usually do pop-based genre, mm-hmm. which includes country pop, Acoustic pop, mm-hmm. indie pop, sometimes folk, okay, sometimes okay. funk. Yeah, That's so right. it's a mixture of <coughs> all the elements. Okay, yeah. but how how would you want people to know you as like in a pop artist? Yeah, as a pop artist. Okay, yeah, I think that cool, would be cool. Now let's talk about your work. Mm-hmm. Well, any what are the works that you're doing right now? And you're not just a singer, but you're also a producer. I see yeah. that you've been producing for people. You know, mm-hmm. so yeah, please talk mm-hmm. about your works right okay, now. Okay, so. Yeah. Um, uh, currently, I'm working on my uh, upcoming album. That's sure. Okay. So which is, uh, it's a full-length album. It's going to be my first album. Okay. Okay. So, which will be done uh, hopefully by this year. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if we'll be able to release it this year, but I will be releasing some few singles from the album this okay, year. Okay. Okay. And also, yeah, there are some few surprises from the album, which oh, nice. uh, we'll put it put it up on date. To look very forward. Soon. Yeah. Yeah. And also, sure. yeah, I'm also uh, recording uh, and a music producer. Mm-hmm. So I work with a lot of artists mm-hmm. who comes to the studio, record songs. I work with them, and that's wow. how I. Well, how does that? That's how I invest on my. So your career. parents are okay with that, right? That you want to do music for. Yes, time, my parents are supportive, very supportive. Right? Have been very oh, supportive. Yeah. Very, very glad to hear that. What about you? Do you say also? Um. Well. If needed. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. That's that's the beauty about being Naga. I mean, everyone can sing. <laughs> and yeah, please tell us one of your hidden talent. Since we don't know much about you, what do you think? Yeah, hidden would you like talent. to mention something? Um, yeah, I would say sketching. Oh, you like painting. sketching, you know? Yeah. Painting. Ooh, would love to see that in the future or maybe today later. Okay, <laughs> now I want to ask one question to both of you. Please tell us three qualities that people don't know about you. Okay, maybe we start with Kale. Okay. Yeah, right now. Three qualities people Three don't know qualities. about you. I'm quite an open book actually, so okay. I think people know it, know about it. Um, I think I'm, I'm not saying it with so much of confidence, but I think I am uh, very well grounded when it comes to knowing about my culture. Like okay. I know how to play, you know, my cultural. I belong to Rongmai community, by mm-hmm. the way. So I know how to play, you know, different kinds of traditional drums. Wow. I also know how to dance, a lot of kind of dance. Wow. In mm-hmm. fact, I have like um, led many dances in festivals. Mm-hmm. And also I know some songs, some folk songs. Wow, yeah. I appreciate that, man. That's cool. I mean, I, I mean whoever is teaching you, mm-hmm. is it your grandfather? Your yeah, parents? that's my grandfather. Grandfather, right? Yeah, he's been a very... Oh, wow. Highly Good awesome, man. Yeah. Shout out to your grandfather. Yeah, yeah that's two. Third? Third. <laughs> I, I'm quite interested in um, studying about space and astrology. Oh, really? I mean, astronomy. Astronomy. Yeah, That's so, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, let's know about this girl. Okay. A tree, right? Yeah. 
The first thing is I will say I'm a fast learner. Mm -hmm. But as fast as I am in learning, I'm also a short-term memory. Okay. <laughs> I'm okay. so bad in, you know, names and faces. Okay. I, I hope nice you don't people. forget us next time. <laughs> yeah. And third one, Yeah, right? third one, yes. Mm, I think I would say I, you know, can eat almost all kinds of vegetables or herbs. Any, you know, no okay. matter how awful it may smell. Okay, I can that's, eat. that's a compliment. It's a, it, it, it's, it's a talent, you know? It's a bit that way. It's a bit that way. I don't know. There, there are people who are like, ah, it's a bit that way. And I, honestly speaking, I really don't want to travel with this kind of people. <laughs> Especially, you know, and for me, I'm like international mode. Any manu kai got us up kai. Kali snake to nakai. No, it's a bit delay. Anyway, uh, let's now. Uh, you you mentioning about the Green Festival, right? That yeah. you guys did it, and I saw the poster, and I saw a lot of logos. Government can learn. You push up, push up, push up. Man, why is it logo? Can you guess it? Well, uh, regarding that, um, since it was uh, one of its, you know, kind in our district, in, in Zinabota district, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be a big festival where many crowds were supposed to come and attend. Mm -hmm. So the we were asked. Uh, for a slot from the district administrative okay. for um, so that they can also introduce regarding Beti Bachao, Beti Paro and Nasha Mugbarat from achha, achha. Okay, this okay. very uh. festival. So that's how we collaborated with their logos, okay. not sponsored. Okay. Either from either of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I just want to uh, mention this also that she is appointed as the ambassador for Jal Jivan Mission Zanebota, right? Yes, I am. Yes, okay. Now, uh, KL. Uh, share some of your most memorable geek experience, like any fan moment or anything, you know, any crazy thing, somebody coming, shirt patai dishe, kan dishe, or any bad incident, any any memorable geek experience? Yeah? Okay, um, memorable geek experience, it would be uh, last year, Achha. I had a geek in Imphal, okay. Manipur, last year, it was my first geek in Imphal, mm -hmm. and uh, the whole journey was a very wholesome experience oh, sure, sure. to cut it short i landed in fall right mm -hmm. and then i uh, went outside the airport there were people fans waiting for me outside the airport wow. like ready to receive oh. me na? Mm. with flowers with a traditional scarf gifts and cake na? That's cake sure. wow. <laughs> so it was yeah and then the next day we had a gig and then we sold out the venue and then yeah it was jam pack <laughs> uh, the people were singing all the songs that i was singing wow so yeah I, I would also like to mention that you know i've received a lot of love from Manipur and mm -hmm. the people of Manipur. Wow. And I just want to say thank you very much. And I just hope and pray that, you know, that uh, everything will turn back to normal and uh, yeah. peace. There will be peace in Manipur again. Uh huh. Wow. Beautiful. Yes. Uh, we we uh, dis discussed this with earlier guests also, you know, things are not right at the moment, but we pray that things will get better soon and we hope that peace. You know, and understanding and people will forgive, get to forgive soon. Okay, now let's move on uh, to the last question of the serious talk, okay? Uh, let's talk about feminism. We talk about, when you talk about feminism, like it's not just about you know, women equality, but people talk about this. Now you've been a girl in this uh, pageant industry there's going to be a guest who will be coming next week who won uh, Mr. India Rubaru from Na in Naga from Manipur, no doubt. But people don't know about that. But imagine a girl going and winning a Miss, in Miss India, then the whole Northeast will be talking about that. Even as a singer, if KL Pamai was a girl, <laughs> maybe think, you know, sometimes we see that the unfair even girls, we see that sometimes girls also have advantages in many ways. We believe that and we see that, we experience that. So what do you think? Do you think it's fear and do you support feminism first of all? What's your view on that? Um, well, first let me talk about the first thing that you've said. Yeah. From the beginning, mm. regarding the pageantry, we have known um, female participating in it. Uh-huh. So I think I would relate a little bit to our patriarchal society as well uh -huh. regarding the leadership yes, position. Yes, true. So it's kind of, you know, things are getting um, quite, um, you know, it's getting normal right now. I mean, like we're uh, improving in both ways. However, uh, 
that's it or else regarding feminism i do speak up and i will definitely voice out for women okay. when needed uh -huh. but um i don't think i would say that i support feminism mm -hmm. matter the fact if the present generation is um using the definition of the word feminism in a whole different level true well, i agree with that yeah. yeah really so we know like men and women mm -hmm. We have uh, different physical capabilities mm -hmm. and we cannot be equal. We can never be equal. Never be. Yeah. So God did not create us like that. That's it. Yeah. Like that, that's the beauty of the uniqueness true, that true. we have. Yeah. So, um, you know, even uh, this, um, the positions that I'm talking about, even, either in pageantry or in um, the field. leadership or leadership, any field, yeah, yeah any yeah. field. Um, I think skills and ability should be the reason to choose True. on those positions and not just based on gender yeah so wow. um i've seen in one um one thing where a lady was talking about the new wave of feminism mm -hmm. where uh she was talking about uh, two things that is masculine masculine as in our independent being and feminine where masculine maintains society and feminine maintains life mm -hmm. and i pretty much agree on that because wow. you know no matter how independent i may be being a traditional feminine woman mm -hmm. we have this idea of submitting to a man because um after all a man is supposed to be the leader at home right so we should you know know how to maintain life and social Mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. being wow. yeah. i think almost all the men in nagaland is gonna fall for you right now uh or not nagaland the whole of northeast is gonna fall for you yeah that's a beautiful answer uh, would you like to add anything or you don't want to i think skip? yeah she has said it all yeah. Uh, yeah okay i've been saying last last but let me make this my last serious question uh i wanted to know from young's you know people's point of view there are a lot of i mean there's a rise in uh, substance abuse user in Nagaland lately young people are into drug and especially uh, we can mention sunflower uh the, those days it was very famous in our land you know cocaine you know heroin but then over the year drug user went down and then maybe alcohol was there but then lately we've seen the rise among the young people you know so I want to know from your perspective, what's your thought about that? Or if you have any message, you know, please speak about it. Yeah. So um, I was not aware of this uh, sunflower thing until last year when I uh, saw the news and uh, I discovered it about it. So which is, um, it is really sad to see, you know, this thing taking over the youths of, you know, of our people to take over the land. And um, yeah, um, as much... <laughs> As much as it's a uh, physical addiction, I also believe that it's a uh, spiritual warfare as well. Yes. And uh, I, I'm not trying to act so religious or holy, which I'm not. But uh, it's, I think it's important. I think it's good to have friends, but it, it's also very important to have good uh, spiritual friends mm -hmm. who can you know, guide you, mentor. who can uh, mentor you, mm -hmm. who will correct you if you're doing something wrong, right? And also, it's important to spend time with the word, spend time with people who you think are like spiritually stronger than you, mm -hmm. who can guide you, correct you, you know, in whatever yeah. ways they can. Yeah, I mean, I'm very much interested in this uh, substance abuse as okay, well. I've okay. been talking about even in my previous two talk shows as well. Gotcha. So uh, this drug epidemic uh -huh. is, you know, so much underrated and so much um, underestimated by yeah. us as societies true, true. and also the people who um, have the power to be able to do something yet not doing much mm -hmm. because definitely because of the stigma drug abuse uh, yeah. is associated with or um, you know keeping under drugs even by the families of uh -huh. those having addictions yes so um, well I I have been you know, um, collecting some few information from different people okay. regarding this. So of what I heard that uh, this sunflower is a kind of heroin, but uh -huh. a low grade heroin, that low grade one, yeah, yeah. which is um, quite cheap and mm -hmm. easily accessible. Yeah. So that's how like by then we all may understand how the mainstream courses, you know, maybe like that is peer pressure, right? Peer pressure. Yes. Yeah. So um, apart from that, however, I have heard the person I got to heard uh, got hooked up because of his, um, you know, when he was doing his emotional blackmail. Uh huh. 
<coughs> yeah, which wow. took a toll on his um, um, how will I say mental health. Achha. It seems he came across this peddler who introduced him to sunflower, to these sunflowers, they saying him that this pain will go away and he will not get hooked up. So I feel like this is the reason many youngsters oh. are getting hooked up because they did not really know what sunflower actually is. Not that stereotypical, yeah. uh -huh. you know, drug but um, kind of medicine. So, um, like my friend said regarding, um, this is not just a battle of physical. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a battle of spiritual, spiritual yeah. as well. Warfare, so yeah. I'm so happy uh, that uh, the Gilgal prayer uh -huh. ministry and healing camp, they are organizing the second edition of camp. Okay. So this camp is especially for the youngsters That's and sure. especially for the substance abusers okay, okay. where um, they are going to treat them physically as well as spiritually as when, well. When is it happening? So it's happening on 19th to 21st of July. Of July, yes. Okay, uh, okay. It's happening in Shokhovi village. Okay, Shokhovi village. Not sure, could be village. Um, okay. okay. So <laughs> any, anyone can come or? Uh, Any, anyone can come. Um, I'll definitely show, um, be speaking about that later on. Okay, okay. And, however, uh, so many speakers are going to come there okay. and then. Um, Kohoche village. Kohoche village, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, uh, that one. So um, very much looking forward for that. They mm -hmm. are in collaboration with you know, Gospel Writers Ministry and okay. also Prodigal's Home. Okay. So oh, awesome. I'm very much oh, looking glad, glad to hear that. And also yeah. adding on to that, if yeah, I please, can. Please, yeah. please, please. Um, you know, the, the people who are addicted to it, I don't think, you know, they come from a, an, from an environment which, from a good environment, mm -hmm. as in like where, where their lives are like sorted out, who are doing good in life, who are like successful, who comes from a good family background or what, what, what mm -hmm. not, right? Mm -hmm. But instead, you know, people who are like going through depression, who are struggling, or having a hard times in life, who maybe have not, may not have experienced that, you know, good mm -hmm. life experiences. Yeah, so these yeah. are the people like who are really getting hooked up to it because they are looking for solutions, right? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, likewise, she's, she mentioned yeah. like going to camps, spending time with, you know, people. I think yes. that's what's going to help. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for talking about that. I also want to add up that uh, we're not a subject, you know, matter, I mean, expert in this, but then maybe in days to come, we'd love to bring people who are expert in this, and then we'll talk more about that. But my only message is to those people, the peddlers who are bringing smuggling drug to Nagaland or Northeast or, you know, bringing here, I'm telling you, you will... You don't know how many people you're destroying. Abni and Manina Pisa Kamuli, Abni and Bigri Kreze, Olivia, Manu Kiman La family Bia Kreze, Manu Kiman and Life Bia Kreze, Abni and Blessing Napovo, Abni and Idu Pisa were a Kushina Tayo, Idura Maji Komunjado, Bigri Krakan, Drug Bigri Grand, Morum by Sola number I do Charibuli Kuribi, Abni and Anina Pisa the Pais of our Uli to Pisa Luna, Abni La Bacha, Maki, Motagi Kelaules, Itura Abni Kushi Tayo, I don't know, Isoro Jindas, Itura, Morum Abni and Ikoze, Itu. Nakurile bal. I mean, la future society kangye biya nakuri di bi. Aro puisa kamaule do rasta mechiya se. Alakte uli bi sabi bina kuye da se. On that note, we take a break and we'll come back after this break. Thank you. to the second segment in conversation with Hikali and KL. Guys, I ask people on social media, your fans, to ask you questions and we got thousands of questions from there. I pick few and I am going to ask you. It's going to be like a rep, uh, rapid fire round. I want the answer quick, quick. Okay. Now, Hikali, will you participate in the International Beauty Pageant? Given a chance. Uh, I am recently going to participate in Miss Nortis. Okay, Miss so, Nortis. Yeah. All the best. Thank you. Uh, Kale, at what age did you learn how to play a musical instrument? Which was your first instrument that you learned? I learned guitar. I was uh, uh, 11 years of age. 11 years, same age. I learned 11. Uh, what's your dream job? 
My dream job, uh, a successful engineer. Engineer, wow, cool. Who's your favorite Naga musician? I love Naga. Don't say because I'm <laughs> there. I need Alak Lavi, but thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, who's your role model in life, Udiya? You don't want me to ask this, but then. Me. So, yeah. By the way, this question is from Junior James. Yeah. Who's your role model? My parents. Your parents, good. Now, your uh, what's your current favorite song? Nine. Uh, nine <laughs> That's all. Uh, what was your parents' reaction when you go for modeling? And what was what message you want to convey to those parents who have negative thoughts on modeling line? This is from Chingli Village Lifestyles. Yeah. Actually, modeling and pageantry is two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. So I went for pageantry and not modeling. Okay. So they were uh, happy. Parents negative thoughts on pageantry also. There are I, uh, people yes, yes, still. So are, any message to those parents? Oh uh, well. Uh, you know, it just depends on us, you know, someone who is carrying it, mm -hmm. uh, how we are carrying it. So, I want them to differentiate between those two and, yeah. Good. Kudos to that answer. Kale, what skills have you learned that you will help, that will help you in your singing career? Um, one hack that I found was, is to, you know, focus on my weaknesses okay. and then work on it. Okay. I think because, yeah. Cool. Short answer. Uh, if you could break any rule for a day, what would you break, Hikali? Break rule for a day. Uh. Damn. <laughs> any rule? Any rule. Uh, for a day. I haven't thought about that. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next question. Who's your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush? Mm -hmm. Tony Mafut. Okay. He's a modeler. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, this question is for when will you release your new album? This um, is from Chila Kuramai. Yeah. Yeah, I might release it hopefully by next year. Next year? Yeah. Okay. Uh, question to you, Kali. If you could... Okay, this is also the same thing. I don't know why people are asking this. If you could break one rule in beauty pageant, that, what rule would that be and why? In beauty pageant. Yeah. Okay. Um, criteria, height. <laughs> height, huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, but I think this days they're cutting down the height thing, no? Somehow, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. Uh, okay. This is for KL. Where is uh, KL? What's between him and Soma Laishram of Manipur? Something about Soma Laishram in you? Um, no, yeah. I mean, we are really good friends. Sure. And um, she's like an elder sister to me, to be okay. honest. Yeah, she has, she's senior, right? Yeah, so she has helped me a lot in my projects and she still does. So, yeah, okay. we're good friends. Great. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Soma. Uh, Hikali, if you are hosting a dinner party and would invite three famous people in Nagaland, who would you choose and why? Um, in <coughs> Nagaland? Yeah. Three famous people. Okay, I haven't met Zuchobini, so I'll mm -hmm. invite her. Okay, Zuchobini. I'm so good with Vikona Sachu, I'll invite her. Okay. <laughs> and one more. At least Motai Vi Matilda Magikla Matilda Nola. I don't know. One more. Uh huh. Who? Vire. Okay, Vire. Okay, cool. <laughs> Mota Vire. Okay. Okay. Kiel, what is the reason behind this beautiful, deep, husky voice? Oh, wow. <laughs> it's this like, is it's from Anyam Naga. It's, it's more like a compliment to me, so thank you. Yeah, I think this yeah. is the magician, Anyam. Or oh, really? Yeah, yeah uh -huh. Anyam Naga, I think yeah. so, yes. Yeah, I was just born with it. I mean, I didn't do anything to have this yeah. kind of voice. But so, yeah. you have like deep voice, man. Uh, okay. Uh, qualification. Your, the yours is B-Tech, yeah, yours? B. Okay. Uh, any embarrassing moment on, while on stage? Uh, okay, I'll, I'll have to explain it okay. properly, yeah. So, I think it was two years back, I was performing with a band. Mm -hmm. uh, luckily, it was on a reception, wedding reception. Okay. And then something happened and then starting bra, the musician, they messed it up. So, the whole song, I... The whole song ended up <laughs> me being laughing the whole time. So, okay. I couldn't stop laughing. Okay. So, on the yeah, mic, they has to uh, so, so yeah, it was quite embarrassing. Okay, uh, relationship status? You Me? Single or? Oh, I am taken by my career. Career, okay. You? By studies, uh, career. Yeah, by you studies. Also both, both of you are single, right? Right. You've never dated anyone in your life. I saw never. your status. Woo, cool. Uh, define Alobo in one word. This is from Face Unknown. Celebrity. Legend. Okay, yes. thank you. Uh, uh, now, my question to Hikali, your favorite Naga singer? My favorite Naga singer, Shalobo. <laughs> if given a chance, which celebrity would you like to go on a date? Naga celebrity. 
Same question. <laughs> date can be any, like, you know, it can be any date. Yeah, coffee date, Hanmi, na. Hmm. It doesn't have to be boy and girl, na. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, I would really love to go out with you and, you know, I think we have a lot of things to talk about. Chalo, so let's many go things next to time, yeah. Me, yeah. You? You want to join us? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to join you guys. <laughs> okay, three of us will go up to Let's coffee go. date after after this uh, shoot. You know. Okay, now how much would you rate each other in scale of 10? You, in beauty? Uh, me or her? You. Him, myself? No, you, you rate yourself in, uh, in your 10. beauty. 10. 10, okay. In your uh, sing? Um, 6. 6, right? Okay. That's uh, a lie, that's a lie. <laughs> okay, now, okay, but how, how much would you rate her in beauty? Uh. <laughs> 9.9. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. One, you leave it for you. Know, yeah. You, uh, his music or his looks, anything. How much you read? Uh, 10. Okay, great. Oh, um, now, fashion inspiration and whose design are you wearing today? Um, my fashion inspiration is my mom. Okay. Because I usually don't go out without oh. she checking on me and giving okay, me a okay. thumbs up, okay. you know. And then today I'm wearing Posh Boutique. Okay. Posh from Posh Boutique. Okay. Everything till my heel. So, shout yeah. out to Posh Boutique. Shout yeah. out to Posh okay. Boutique. Now, I have a request. Can you keep your cup right now? Grab the guitar there, since you're a singer. <clears throat> okay? So, I want you to do me a favor. At the same time, I want you to pick up the board here, if you can. I'll help okay. you. I'll help you with this. Okay? Okay? So, since you are into painting, you love sketching, I want you to paint him. And I want you to serenade Sing for her one song, make sure that she loves that song, and then hopefully she falls in love with you after this. <laughs> okay, and then, yes, you can go on. So uh, it's in drop the yeah. For how long? Uh, I, it's okay, let her continue. I'll give you another task also after this. <laughs> after this, I'm gonna let you yeah, sing another song. Time. But but then you, you can go on with this. Do I look at her or? Yes, obviously. Okay. <laughs> she yeah, 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 no, she's gonna the song. <laughs> okay, wow. let, me, let me think about the song. Shall I start? Yeah, yeah, please go ahead. Okay. Don't be nervous, bro. <laughs> this is what we do for a living. Okay, I'll, gotcha. I'll sing one of my songs. The day that you came in, you made this home a better place. And when I see you passing by, each day you make me feel alive. And now that we're old and gray And we're not as quick as we used to be Still you leave me breathless Ooh. Relentless And though that's still enough But then you're standing right in front of me In a way you drive me crazy There is something about that place That keeps me going I don't Ay nang tasiene, ay nang tasiene. Wow, thank you. That's beautiful. You continue with the And thing. then... Yeah, but, okay, but did you like the song? Yeah. Okay, did <laughs> you feel it? Okay, you done? Yeah, I'm done. Oh, wow, that's fast. Now, please, uh, for the first time, show Kel for my... <laughs> okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> Yeah, did you like it, Kel? Nice. Yeah, awesome, cool. You. I forgot to put the dimple, but yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's that's sweet. That's nice. sweet. Now I want I want Kale to do me a favor before we go to the next segment. Uh, I want you to sing in local dialect. I'll tell the tribe name. You're gonna sing that, okay? All right. Now, first thing to impress her, sing a simi. Okay. It's okay if I take time. Yeah. Can keep. Okay. Put the dimple if you want. I'll be a pain okay. piece. <laughs> there you go. Here. Should I continue? Okay, uh, let's sing our song. Okay, here you go. Alright. Naita Kirkum Nura, Bronson Bushi Ang. She saka Nura, she saka Shirkum Ang. 
Summer I'm gonna ride like sheep I don't lear Okay, now let's go with Mizo. Chalo. Okay, um, there's one old song. Okay. okay. An old Mizo song. Isu nang chao katlahim na be kagumin shway tu in me. I don't think. Mete? Yeah. Let's mete. Do mete. <clears throat> okay, one of my favorite Mete songs. Ikoi kungile shamayam nanok nanok nare. Like I not na lay naraga, iki bai kang mane. Yes, could keep a kang angauba. I did nung she day. Wow, uh, can you sing Nepali? Maybe one thing. Nepali, to okay. Just <coughs> <laughs> 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 yeah, so got a jeb on a jet to sukilay jow my life. You man tamero Nepali ho Malai garvacha Hamro purkale Kati betha haru sahera Wow, tankul pare? Tankul... Alok pare? Okay. I'll just sing so some few lines. Maybe one to line of your tankul yeah. song, yeah? Wow. Of my favorite singer. Uh, think of one song, I'll, I'll, maybe one to line I want you to sing after oh, this. One song? Yeah, think of that. No, yeah. Okay. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> so this song is called uh, Pakamai. Ili lang lang kamai nawi nawi lang lang kamai pali patui halu nawi pakamai ilang patui hoga. Can you speak their language also, all these things? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, just yeah. the song, right? Yeah, just the song. Okay, <laughs> now, uh, sh can you show your sketch before we go move on to the next? Yeah? Turn, turn, turn! Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna come back after this break. Don't go away, we have so many games, so many exciting things to go. Yeah, bye. <laughs> the third segment of the Alubanaga show we are going to play this game called what's in the box with Hikali and KL please unfold yourself blindfold yourself and we will start the game yeah thank you so much I'm sure you can't see anything right now before we bring the first item all you need you know what to do put your hands inside and then see and guess or not see Smell if you want to smell, so guess it. But before that, I want you to, I want to play Never Have I Ever with Blindfold. Okay, so I just want you to raise your hand, don't say yes, no. Never have I ever googled my own name. Okay, never have I ever cheated in exams. Test, test. Uh, okay, never have I ever commented on social media using fake account. Okay, uh, never have I ever given an admire or fan a fake number. Uh. My fake number. Yeah. I think I've given my fake number. Okay. Uh, the last one. Uh, 
just uh, do you think the other person the other guest today is uh, good looking okay okay cool you'll know once the episode starts okay now i want you to do me a favor put your right hand inside okay both of you can put your hand inside and touch and then guess whoever guess it first yeah 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 okay yeah just think and then dragon just... fit okay what about you yeah i think it's a dragon fruit. okay good now thank you take out your hand good good okay here we go put your hands together together i think this is uh bengan asli ke bengan nak ikut brinjal brinjal yeah okay okay i think it's a big brinjal um eggplant eggplant yeah yeah, yeah eggplant Yes, bring the next item, please. Okay, uh, put your hands together. One, two, <coughs> three, yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> you scared? <Sorry. laughs> What's that? Oops. Uh oh. Two hands, nigga. Nah. Wait. Hat na siya, Jin. Jin, I did. Did she? I think it's a. Uh, Stop oh. toy, stop animal. Yeah. Okay, okay, great, yeah. great, great, very smart, very smart. Next, up, bring, bring the next animal. Oh, sorry, next item. Yeah. Next Chala. animal. Chala, put your hands. Next animal. Ah, uh, damn. You first check and I'll react. I'll see your reaction. <laughs> This is so cunning, man. We never even even motor motor car. Ila, my dear, my dear, my dear. Don't say. Let let him say first. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, Okay. Um. Yeah. Vegetable or fruit, maybe. Okay. Great. Karela. <clears throat> okay. Next, Chala. This is even scarier when you're doing it, na. Ito pa kahila la sa mga nasa niya. Wait. Hey, what is this? Canana? Oh, it's a. Mita kaunda. It's I could touch the feed. Oh, keep it. For red. Chua. I think it's a uh, uh, chicken. Yeah, it's frog. <laughs> okay, okay, remove that thing. Oh my god, it's touching so nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, no, it's not done. Oh. You say take out. No, I I told them. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. okay no, I didn't okay. see. Okay, okay, okay fine, fine, fine. Wait, because I But why frog? Wait. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to pass it again. Chalo. Okay, ready? Uh let the guy do first right now. Okay, chalo. Right. One to okay. go. Okay, okay, Kelly. Go. <laughs> okay. Can I guess? I think it's a Slime or jelly? I think slime. Kun, tulen ni so kun. Okay. <laughs> What's this? I don't know. Maybe it's a slime. Jelly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now wait. Okay, wait. Okay, not remove the jelly and we'll do it. Uh oh. Yeah. I don't like this. Don't. Who was that? I don't really want to go for it. Nakatuna? Yeah. You don't bite, na? No. Just pick up and check up. Oi, is it moving? Oh, what, what are you doing, Kali? Go. <laughs> This is the last item, chill. Mong soy dai wala. Liver. Liver. This are two items there. Uh, two. Yeah. What else? It's there. Mm, I think this is looks like chicken, yeah. Sure, so chicken, chicken is like. Mm -hmm. I think oh pork is nigga. It's chicken. I can touch the head. So. Oh, so <laughs> chicken on the head now. Okay, yeah. so the last one. Shall we bring it fast and then we're we're done with this? Okay, the last one. We're done. Whoever can guess it is the winner. Okay. Okay, last one. <laughs> last one. You can even <laughs> smell it. Okay. Shall we? Ready? Ready? Here we go. Go. 
Bukt lagi seneng ya? Ayo, itu mungsa no ya. It's... It's meat. Hah? It's meat on me. Oh, fish. Yes. Wait, wait, last. Okay, now... Wakil is so boring, man. You do fish as that? Yes, the fish. Fish landa. Fish landa. See, that's why beauty with bread. Now the last one, okay? Because Kiel is not... Yeah. He's scared, yeah. Okay, now uh, I want Kiel to do it, okay? I'll, yeah, Kiel, chal. let's do it, okay. I won't go in, right? You, let, let Kiel go first. You only let me do it, but then you do it. I think it's uh, rubber. Okay. Eraser. Okay. Can you try? Yeah. <clears throat> what is the thing? <laughs> yeah, guys, on that note, we're going to take a break. <laughs> we'll see you after this. Bye. <laughs> for today thank you so much for tuning in but before we go i just want to request my guests if you have any message you want to say to my subscriber your fans you know yes please go ahead all right so i just want to thank to all my supporters who have been supporting me from day one till uh, up till now and uh, this is my message uh, to everyone to stay humble hustle hard and remember to never let Failures goes into your heart and success to your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so first of all, thank you very much for having us on your show. It's an honor and my, our pleasure to be here. Mm -hmm. And to all the people, all the fans who has been there for me since day one, thank you very much for your love and support. I am where I am. It's all because of your love. So yeah, keep supporting. I have a lot of things coming up. And also to the people out there, I just want to say, Stay humble, work hard, work in excellence, be disciplined in what you do, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, that's all. God bless. Thank you so much. I wish you guys all the best, and especially you as you're preparing for exams. I wish that you crack the exam soon and become an engineer, full-fledged engineer, <laughs> you know? very soon. All the best for that. And you, uh, your album is coming up, so all the best. We're looking forward. Let me know if you need any help. I can be there, you know, to support you. Let me know anytime and wish you all the best. And with that note, we have come to the end. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share it. Let the world know about these two people here. And we'll see you next week. God bless. Bye-bye.